We've been talking about this wall of love lately, living in the city with the wall of love. And um, that wall of love, it's something that we create vibrationally together. Those of us that are in a, in maybe an unsaid agreement of, sometimes said agreement of, of being in that space of love, of emanating love. You know, it's, it's not necessarily a physical space. It can be. Um, but it's like a, 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 a space that we have in the invisible, that we, it's this invisible city in a way that we're creating together, right? And so with these loving people, I feel it here. I hear it with the emissaries, with those people, my friends online um, and the friends here in the room and in the community. I feel this so much more than I've ever have before. This wall of love with people where we, First of all, we have we have our hearts in the right place. Like we are like connected. We have this desire to bring love into the world, to be emanations of love, and we radiate it. And we're, you know, if we're if we're not doing it, we're growing in that way at least. Um and this space feels with this with these people, with this group of people, it's so safe. It feels so safe for me to be my loving self. It feels so safe for me, even to like when I misstep or have, you know, kind of forget who I am for a second, to just be brought back into that space, uh, you know, surrounded by my friends, because the vibration that we're emanating is so strong. It's so like you can feel it, it's tangible, it's like thick in the air. And it does what that sphere does, where, you know, that vibration of love that we're emanating, it naturally attracts like, like, it naturally attracts like. And those that cannot be in that vibration of love just kind of don't find their way into it. You know, it, like, it's like, um, like with Reiki, with energy healing, what I was doing in my practice, um, it's like this one-way current. It's, it's very loving. And the idea is that it's bringing such high vibration that those things are in lower, like a dis state of discord. It just naturally either resolves, it moves into alignment with that frequency of love, or it moves out. <laughs> and that's kind of like that wall of love in the city, in the city of, of love that we're creating. And I'm going to check time real quick. All right. <laughs> and I'll say being in this wall of love is transformative. Like I said earlier, it's so easy to be my loving self and to just like be me, you know, just be the truth of who I am without fear of being, you know, degraded or hated upon or whatever. And if that does happen out in the world, I have a safe space to come home to. I've experienced that so many times when I've been out in the world and I kind of feel like I, I go on vacation, I go to my family or you know somewhere else. And I just kind of get like, you know, we beat up by the energy, you know, and I, I do my best to bring that love and, you know, be who I am, but it can feel kind of like, oh, I'm not safe here. It can feel a little like that, but knowing, like connecting to my friend, you know, reaching out and um, to the people that, you know, we, we hold this space, it can just bring me right back into that place where it's like, I know who I am again and it's safe to be here. And there's not, I mean, that's home out of all the places on the earth that I could call home. Like that's home. You know, it, we can be anywhere. We can be anywhere in the world. And I, I know I have my soul family. I have the people who are on that path with me. And yeah, we, you just help me remember who I am.